The earth we live on has fascinated mankind since the beginning of civilization. You are aware that the earth has provided us with everything we require. This is why we call it the mother earth. We have always been curious about this planet on which our forefathers lived. Since time immemorial, man has been questioning its shape, size, extent, and position in space besides different kinds of surface features of earth and the processes working on it. From the time of earlier philosophers to the present day scientists, we have acquired some knowledge about our planet. However, there is always a scope and need for new ideas and views as no knowledge is complete and final. One of the branches of science dealing with the study of earth is geology. Let us briefly learn about geology and its importance to human society. The term geology has been derived from these two Greek words. In general, geology literally means study of earth or science of earth. As such, geology is the oldest science because man has been using the natural resources of the earth since time immemorial. Today, geology is identified as a branch of earth science that studies all aspects of the planet. The person practicing geology is called geologist. It is an integrative science. To figure out how the earth works, a geologist must integrate or combine elements of chemistry, biology, physics, and mathematics. Geology also integrates computational sciences. For example, while examining a piece of rock, a geologist must think of life, identify its minerals, analyze its chemistry, and examine its material properties. Have a look at this diagram which illustrates the relationship of geology to other basic branches of science. Now, let us discuss how geology differs from other sciences. Quite often, you must have seen that scientists are portrayed as people who perform experiments wearing white lab coats. However, the subject of geology differs from those sciences in the following respects. You can pause this video and go through the points. So, geology is fundamentally an observational field science and geological map as its main tool. The field is the natural laboratory for geology education. However, in the past few decades, computer software has become available that can simulate the field in the laboratory to some extent. Geologists use all of these tools and techniques to study the earth and its history. By understanding the past, they can better predict the future and help us to protect our planet. These are the tools and techniques to study the earth. field observations laboratory experiments remote sensing geochronology and modeling you can just go through the definitions we shall cover these topics in detail in the upcoming videos we know that geology is a major part of earth science but it is not the only part some other branches of earth science include geophysics geochemistry paleontology sedimentology hydrology meteorology and oceanography Geology and earth science are closely related fields and they often overlap. For example, a geologist might use geophysical techniques to study the earth's interior or a paleontologist might use geochemical techniques to study fossils. The term earth science is sometimes used interchangeably with geology, but there is a subtle difference between the two terms. Geology is a more specific term that refers to the study of the earth's physical structure and history. Earth science is a broader term that encompasses all of the sciences that study the earth, including geology, geophysics, geochemistry, and paleontology. Ultimately, the relationship between geology and earth sciences one of overlap and cooperation. Geologists and earth scientists work together to understand the earth and its environment. and they use their knowledge to solve real world problems that's it for now in the next video we will discuss the different branches of geology